welcome to another Gladly Review. We are out on a little tiny adventure today Hooray. and we've come to see the Steel Cauldron, which is a Harry Potter themed cafe. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, well, it's only our first trip after obviously things that have been going on globally. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to this one. Something nice and unique in Sheffield. Nice sunny day as well, so really looking forward to this one. Yeah, I am. So we're going to show you around, show you what it looks like, show you what you get with um, the amount of money that we paid as well. And hopefully it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Stick around. Here it is, the steel cauldron. Really excited. Absolutely, it's in a nice uh, area of Sheffield. This is in Fullwood, quite a studenty area. Um, yeah, just away nice. from the little local shops, but uh, yeah, really good. Let's go in. So, first impressions. I absolutely love it. I think it's really big as well, which is a surprise. Mm. I thought it was just going to be like a tiny little cafe because you didn't really get to see much on the on the previews for this. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it so far. What do you think? Looks really impressive. Yeah, yeah really happy with it. It's happy with the menu as well. So. Mm. Two butterscotch beers. This is me, I've never had this before, so. I don't know if you'll like it. I'm hoping you will. Is it quite sickly sweet? Yeah, I guess so. You'll love it. Okay. So it will smell very sweet. Uh, a bit like caramel flavoured popcorn. So here we go. Actually, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's like a cream soda, isn't it? Mm, yeah. I approve. <laughs> so our food has arrived. Yes, this is our wizard tea, which is two Yorkshire cauldrons, one savoury, which is a Yorkshire rare bit, contains grilled cheese and a dash of hen roast. Mm, wonderful. One sweet, which is butterscotch cauldron, contains salted butterscotch ice cream, drizzled in butterscotch sauce. A surprise parcel gingerbread cake, chocolate frog, magic beans, and savoury sticks. Well, hey, hey, took in. Really cute. So I'm with the uh, owner of this fantastic cafe uh, and who's very kindly just uh, going to have a chat with us. Yeah, uh, extremely so grateful. Wanted to know um, what 
really like the decoration of this place. Have you got any more sort of decoration ideas that have come up to this, uh, this pub? Or? Yeah, we, um, we spent quite a lot of time doing things like the Wise Ward, the area we're in now, which is the cookery. Uh, we've, um, we did some nice um, decor around the piano, and what we wanted to try and do was create things which were wizardy and magic, but not particularly Harry Potter, uh, and might sort of just inspire children. And one of the great things is actually all the work has been done by our staff, so kind of we started them a bit early, uh, so they weren't able to wait tables because there was no customers, so we said just get involved with making papier-mâché trees and sticking books to the ceiling so they've all got a little bit of ownership in the building. What I'm really excited about is I'm not a big one for shopping and buying things so when we're on holidays in the future we'll be able to tour antique shops and look for the weirdest most wonderful things which actually you know you've no reason to buy but we have now got a reason to buy them. I kind of fancy it being a bit like Barnum, a curator of curiosities and things that people can, can look at so yeah there's it's just going to keep on getting getting better. And then we've got a wizardy street upstairs, um, which will be ready in about two weeks. Uh, so we'll, we'll invite you guys back then to have a look at it and you can, uh, you can do a little... Um, that will be splendid. Well. So, uh, Fantastic. Show your, show your viewers that. Oh, will do. And um, also, uh, we were chatting a little bit earlier, have you had some plans for what, what you can do or hoping to do once lockdown's a bit more easy? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we, what we're trying to do is make the Steel Cauldron a, a membership only, uh, and that doesn't mean that sort of we're trying to price people out. Eventually, it's going to be twenty pounds for a family for the whole year to be a member. Uh, but what that will allow us to do is is basically be able to market out to interested people about specific things. And what members will have access to is we're going to have a Lego area where they can come and build various uh, Harry Potter sort of wizardy Lego. Uh, so there's a part a lot we can do with that. We're going to have a tech and VR zone, which is going to have a few different VR headsets, which are some really good wizardy VR games that they'll be able to play. Um, and we'll have some of the retro consoles with some of the Harry Potter games from sort of 15 years ago, which is still oh, just really. as good. So people, and actually the retro ones, we can pick up the consoles quite cheap. So, uh, so we'll have a few, a few of those. We're going to do various children's uh, fun classes and parties, so one fighting classes, potion making classes, uh, creative writing classes. And then we're also going to do things for adults as well. So pottery making, again, potion making, so cocktails and that sort of thing. But all of that is on hold until we can remove our face masks safely. Be a bit well. We'll we'll, we'll all carry on sanitising forever now, I think. Uh, yeah. But until until we can just sort of get these things going and be a bit more interactive. So I expect that's probably going to be around January of next year. But we've got some pretty exciting things before then. We're going to change the whole place into a winter wonderland for December and do a wizard Santa Claus coming in every day. So there's there's some pretty cool ideas of what with or without. So you can that's fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Oh, it's been an absolute Brilliant. pleasure. Pleasure, Chris and Jay. You guys Thank are welcome you. back whenever you like. Thank you. I love the books on the ceiling, I think they're amazing. How have you enjoyed it? I've really liked it, it's been really nice, really chill, really um, yeah. relaxed. Nice music as well, I know it's not quite yeah. Harry it's a, theme, it's a really nice atmosphere though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 weekend. it's got so much potential, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's the right word to use, isn't it? <laughs> So that was our amazing experience at the Steel Cauldron. 
yeah, it was really, really nice. Great atmosphere, uh, great prices as well. The food was lovely and yeah, very, very friendly and welcoming. Yeah, the decor is absolutely amazing and it's just really exciting to see that they've got so much stuff to come up and so many things that they can do with the place and just to make it even more amazing than what it already is. Loads of stuff on the website as well, so please check that out. You know, prices on there, the menus on there, uh, and obviously you have to book on there as well. Yes, uh, until then, have you checked this out? If not, do so, and uh, let us know in the comments below. Until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon for some more reviews. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Bye.